Hello, welcome to another edition of Johnny Stocks 212. Other people trying to sell you something. I'm just here to find those A winners, go getters, trend setting companies to invest in. Thank you for joining me wherever you may be. We got a great show for you today. Today we're talking about an exciting company called Selectar Biosciences. Please read the disclaimer on your own time. So Selector Biosciences is a late stage biopharmaceutical company and they're really focusing on developing and commercializing targeting treatments for uh, cancer. So let's take a look at the leadership team. James Caruso is the CEO. I've heard a bunch of interviews from him. Uh, definitely outstanding leadership team. Jared Larongo is the chief operating officer. Uh, so they, what got me excited about them is they have this proprietary phospholipid ether platform. Uh, that has hopefully has the ability to link a wide range of oncology therapeutic molecules uh, and increase the uh, delivery to the tumor cells, the uh, tumor cells, and hopefully um, you know they're trying to generate a which you know which results in this phospholipid drug conjugate. And hopefully you'll be able to treat a bunch of different cancers, be better therapeutic, have better efficacy, and reduce adverse effects or side effects. And even minimizing the delivery to healthy cells, the, the medication. They want to deliver it to cancer cells. And um, one of the medications, the small molecule one that I've been you know hearing about is their ipophosphacine. So basically it's a phospholipid drug conjugate. It's a small molecule and they're trying to deliver iodine-131. So that is a radioactive isotope uh, directly to the cancer cell. Now they're trying to limit the exposure of that iodine-131 to the healthy shell cells and um, hopefully they can, uh, you know, the, the study so far that I've read up on looks really good. Uh, they're basically trying to differentiate ipophosphacine from many of the traditional on-the-market treatments and they're evaluating it in uh, some uh, phase study, uh, fa what's called phase two clinical trials uh, with patients with relapse, refractory, Wallstrom's uh, uh, WM, which is really awful, and some other multiple melona, uh, melanomas. Um, you know, it, even in pediatric cancers, uh, it was granted U the FDA what's called the FDA Food and Drug Administration granted the ipofosfine a fast track designation. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so, um, you know, they also uh, recently were granted, I want to say, uh, got a grant to continue uh, uh, for uh, pediatric cancer. So let's take a look at this pipeline. So uh, here's that ipofosfine. They did get a grant, uh, you know, a couple million dollars to uh, expand its ongoing phase one study for ipofosfacine, which is delivering the iodine-131 to children and adolescents with interoperable uh, relapse refractory high-grade uh, gliomas, which is really awful. But hey, that's fantastic news. You know, let's, you know, they're moving into, uh, you know, they're in clinical trials. Uh, they also, uh, you know, in phase two, which I was talking about. Um, so this is definitely interesting. They also have uh, clinical trials for head and neck. Um, they have other molecules, the CL1900, CL2000 for solid tumors. Now, these are not in clinical trials. Those are still preclinical. But I'm really excited about this ipophosphacine. Um, just because iodine-131 has proven, radiotopic isotope has proven uh, to be, you know, reduce cancer. Now the downside, if they if this their technology has a better side effect profile, that would be fantastic, you know. Um, so I'm really interested to see what the phase two study says. Do they meet the primary endpoints? You know, the secondary endpoints. You know what what they're putting on there, and if they can move on to a, a phase three trial. So let's look at the stock price. Uh, so secular to bioscience, CLRB stock symbol is CLRB. At the time this video is trading at a dollar ninety three. Uh, I do think there's a lot of potential upside here. Big risk, a lot of potential upside. Um, you know I do like this idea of bringing a small molecule. Um, delivering a cytotoxic radiation directly to cancer cells. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, and while they're trying to limit that exposure to the healthy cells, and, you know, this is definitely a different approach. And, you know, sometimes they use that iodine-131 is used for, you know, uh, 
taking a look at um, not just used for cancer therapy, but can also be used for imaging. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Obviously, this one's used for cancer, and uh, they did have that uh, grant to continue with the uh, trial for pediatric cancers. And I'm going to continue to monitor this company because I think this is pretty exciting. There's a lot of opportunity with this company. They got a compelling pipeline. That's all the time I have for this video. If you did enjoy this video and the content I'm creating, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. I'll continue to monitor this company. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.